Hey guys, so as you can see, I have July's Glossy Box right here. As I said last month, it is an American special. Now, the reason that my June and July boxes are so close together is because I was away in June, <clears throat> and by the time I got back, um, there was only like a week or two between the June and July one. So, yeah, just forgive me for that. Um, so, let's get stuck in. Uh, quite excited, there's the nail varnish box has been ticked, so I'm guessing that's what one of the products is also we are guaranteed at least four full-size products this month so i'm really excited okay so the glossy box inside is a special one obviously because it's the american brand so it's stars and stripes that's the theme very cute box and then inside whoops we have the um little card that tells you what's on there so i'll go through that in a minute and I've just noticed, I don't know if maybe they've been watching my videos and they know how much I don't like them, but the Glossy Magazine doesn't seem to be in here. So either there isn't one, or they've forgotten about me, or they know that I don't really read it. Either way, I'd like to know, did you get a magazine this month? Odd. Anyway, let's get in. So, oops, a doozy. So, one of the first things that I can see is a eyelid primer base oil free makeup base soothing formula evens out the skin tone on your lids and smooths out lines eyeshadow primer absolute new york never heard of the brand um i have actually been wanting to try out an eyeshadow primer because believe it or not i'm wanting to try some eyeshadows the reason i've been putting off trying eyeshadows is because of my oily skin and it creasing and all of that but since using the mac powder can't remember what it's called that's really bad um the setting powder it's kind of helped my skin stay matte let me just check myself out in the mirror yeah it's still kind of matte um it it has helped a lot um so i'm hoping that this means that i can try out some eyeshadows also the eyelid primer will also help surely so i'm really quite tempted to give this a go which is good so doesn't have any perfumes in and it's colorless as well so it's like, it comes out as like a nudie kind of color um but it kind of just blends in plain you can't even see it okay so product one second product is a color club nail lacquer and it is in the shade glossy seal i'm not sure if i'm too keen on that name but um it's a bit like the se on the top where it kind of has the two c's instead of an e and it's like a bluey blue yeah um but yeah it's quite a nice color it's quite dark quite dark blue but i'm into all kinds of colors so i don't really care uh next up we have a classic comics moisturizing lip balm it soothes it relieves it moisturizes now if this was me doing a box about american brands I try and get brands that you can't get in the UK. Now I know for a fact you can get Carmex. As much as I love Carmex, I think it would have been better if it was another company that we can't necessarily get here. Um, having said that I like Carmex, I don't really like using the lip balms where you have to dip and apply. If your fingers aren't necessarily clean, don't know what you've been doing, but if they're not necessarily clean, that's the last thing you want to do. But either way, as long as your hands are clean, hand sanitizer. Yep. Next up, we have Pure Dirty Girl Detoxifying Mud Mask with Pascalite Clay. Now, clay masks I do like because they're very cleansing. So, this mask is to be liberally applied to clean skin and treated for 5 to 20 minutes. Wow. Uh, rinse through with warm water. And good safety seal and it kind of smells like um clarins products but 
yeah it's like a, a brown a brown mushroom coloured clay um and that's that there and the last product is a Bella Pierre Cosmetics lipstick. Um, I do think you can get Bella Pierre here, um, but I've never intentionally gone looking for it or like it's never kind of caught my eye. Um, I struggle with lipsticks because I'm very confused as to what suits me, what doesn't suit me. So hopefully this will be a color that does. It's in the shade Mandarina. And like I said, Bella Pierre Cosmetics. Mm. It's very um, orange. Don't know if you can see the colour of that. But um, it's not really a colour I'd go for. Because with me having like yellowy skin tone. Oh, it smells good though. I have this thing about smelling lipsticks. You probably know this. But yeah, it's a little orange, so I don't know if that would suit my skin tone, but um, it's very nice. So if I don't have it, I'm sure someone else I know will. Um, overall, I'll definitely use the primer, the polish, the Carmex, um, and more than likely the clarifying clay the only one that i'm a bit wary about is this lipstick but i will try it on after this video and see what it's like um in terms of full size i can see four yeah four full size this is the only one that isn't i'm guessing um let's have a look the bella pierre mineral lipstick this cult american favorite is formulated with natural waxes mineral pigments and antioxidants including vitamin c and vitamin e providing long-lasting colour and protection against the sun. £20. £20. Okay, anyway. Uh, the Absolute... Nope, not you. The Absolute New York Perfecting Eyeshadow Primer. This oil-free, ultra-creamy formula evens skin tone around the eye area and keeps eyeshadow crease-free and colour true for a lasting look. Apply a thin layer over eyelids and gently blend with fingers to create an even base. Wear product alone to neutralise redness and brighten eyes. Or lay under your favourite shadow for a prolonged vibrant colour. And that's $4.99. $4.99. Um, okay. And then we have Carmex Lip Balm. Loved by celebrities and makeup artists all over the world. Carmex is the original lip balm. And the only way to soothe dry, chapped lips. With menthol, camphor and beeswax, lips are nourished, conditioned and protected from the elements all year round. You need this staple in your bag. Apply to lips with a clean finger. See, if you don't have a clean finger and your lips are really chapped and it's a matter of life and death. You're buggered. And that's £2.69. Everything seems quite cheap. Well, apart from the lipstick. Bloody hell. Okay. Um, and then we have the Colour Club Glossy Seal... Um, Nail varnish. Colour Club nail polish is proudly made in New York with only non-toxic, cruelty-free ingredients. The shade Glossy Seal has been especially formulated for your July Glossy Box. Apply two thin coats to clean dry nails and seal with a top coat. $8 for 15ml, which I'm guessing is this size. Black writing on a dark blue isn't very clever. Yep, yeah, 15ml. Uh, and then you have the Dirty Girl Detoxifying Mud Mask by Pure Minerals. Dirty Girl unclogs pores, cleanses skin and gently exfoliates. Pascalite clay absorbs pore clogging impurities whilst a salicylic acid, love that, removes dead skin for a visibly fresher, more radiant complexion. Uh, apply liberally to clean skin and treat for 5 to 20 minutes. And for 120 grams of this, it's £18. And that's available at Marks and Spencers. So, um... Only two of these have um, the price in dollars, so I'm guessing everything else you can get in the UK. So as much as it is a US box this month, I would have preferred it to be a box of products that we can't get in the UK, wouldn't you? I mean, if I can just nip to the shop and get this, then... What I'm trying to say is that this could be a normal glossy box. 
Okay, and that is July's American Stars and Stripes box. Overall, like I said, pretty pleased. However, I would have preferred products that we can't necessarily get in the UK. Um, and yeah, I will be using them. But it's not a case of that. But um, just a quick kind of note and update for you guys. Um, from now on, whenever I get a glossy box, it will be uploaded. It will be filmed and uploaded on the day that I receive it. Um, on Wednesdays, I am going to be um, collaborating with a company that I'm working for called um, Rookie Fair, who feature des four designers every two weeks. For two weeks, if that makes sense. So it's four, uh, four different designers every two weeks. Um, and I will be doing creating lookbooks with the products that the site is selling. So look out for that on Wednesday because that's been filmed. And then on Thursdays, I am wanting to start filming reviews, which I already film, but they'll be uploaded every Thursday, um, which I have one ready to be uploaded on Thursday. So look out for that as well. So you will be getting a video today as you're watching this and then Wednesday and Thursday. So that's my update and that's it. So I will see you guys on Wednesday. Bye guys.